We've done the Republic a service. That's right. Good work there, daughter. Or daughter? Girl? I don't know. You normally say son to man. What do you call girls? <laughs> Hugo Kupka is no more. Well, I'll be. All of our comrades who lost their lives back at Sid's place be smiling down at you right now. We had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? It's... It's a long story. One for the history books, I'll bet. Welcome home, Clive. It's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> Otto. Any uh, word on the royalist movements since I've been away? Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to know. Chad, stop. Go and have a word with Vivian. Thank you. I will. <laughs> I don't know why it made me laugh. <laughs> ah, the conquering hero returns. And with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. Well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident Physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Willudas. Willudas? But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the Royalists, he took them to his grave, as did his men, slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the Fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in Storm before. The Waluders must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the Adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? Map. The kingdom of Wulud claims dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin, the Canvarian War of Independence in 849, the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865, the Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Walud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Waluda standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? They will be. Or we will be. And we'll get owned. In summary, I know not to what end the Royalist betrayed Kupka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to I'm cure wallowing, sickness, I'm wallowing. one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. 
Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are, all of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. Okay, so we gotta speak with Karen, speak with Blackthorn, and speak with Hippocrates. How? Blackthorn, do you have a moment? What is it? I'm busy. Like, how could it not be? I wanted to tell you that Hugo Cooper is dead. I can't tell Yeah, it's you. either this or Gollum. How long I've been waiting to hear those words. <laughs> this is it then. Uh, a new beginning under a new Sid. I'll try to live up to the name. Yeah, maybe because well, we only have like 30 minutes before I have to go. Maybe we'll do the bounties right now. It's true what I'm hearing then. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Kuka is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders then. Good. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck. Dude, stop complaining, Karen. Don't let it go to your head, though. I like how they made a woman named Karen who complains about you all the time. And what can I do for you? Going purse weighing you down. Interesting. Okay, now you're starting to get weapons that the magic and the physical attack were the same the whole time, but Enhancer has a little bit bonus physical, but way less magic. I do Finished, think I, I, uh, yeah. I do think the gear was a little bit was fleshed out a little bit better. I mean, I can get real nitpicky with this game, and I will by the end. Okay, we're, let's talk to Harpocrates. Ah, Clive, have you come seeking the gift of knowledge? No, to share mine, actually. Hugo Kuka is dead. He... Oh my, can it really be true? <laughs> Look, he's crying. <laughs> he is the big baby. <laughs> and with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go put away your things. All right. Brilliant. Finally, a new dawn has broken. It has. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates. After Kuka fell, Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned anything? Alas, no. And not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. Yeah, I'll come back after I uh, saw him after Trash Cock. With my own eyes. Trash Talk, you're Trash Cock. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. To others, he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his wake, like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. A brother of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself or merely another projection of its power, 
I know not. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Thank you. It means a lot. Right. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. We're gonna go talk to Otto. Like, I joke about, so here's the thing. I, I joke about like Weave's dance game, right? But I, I really, I'm so like, I, I really do look at every game very, very like uh, objectively. Now there might be certain things that I like or don't like naturally. Like I don't like cell shading, for example. Like as far as art style goes, I just naturally don't like cell shading. But like as far as like if a game is good or not, or if I like a game or not, then guys, I'm not a weeb, okay? I don't I don't really like to like throw throw everything into like one box and just because it's one thing or another makes it to where I don't like it, you know? You barely sat down since you came home. Vivian got you running errands or something. Just spreading the word. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. <laughs> You're right. I should. And I will. Well, when you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down in that workshop of hers, trying to do her father proud. But I can't remember the last time she visited the old sod's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. I'm a boomer, I can't help it. Yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah, I'm not this, I'm not a weep. Do you guys see this tweet? Dude, this one. Story terrible. Obviously this person's a complete moron. The combat, press the same button 30 times. Yeah, any game's combat is press the same button 30 times if you're dog shit. Like how unbelievably dumb do you have to be? And then I go click on her profile, Nintendo Switch plus Xbox. Like, are you, is this somebody just being like, like territorial and like mad because the game's not exclusive? Read the community comment. I love this actually. Look at this. Look at the community comment for this tweet. The person in this video is using multiple accessibility mode options, such as auto dodge and health regen, as well as only uh, being on the literal prologue slash introduction of the game. You're going to regret that boy. Final Fantasy 16 would be one of the best games if his story wasn't terrible. Like how dumb? Like this, this is embarrassing. Em it, it, it is embarrassing. Like it's okay to have a differing opinion or anything, but when, when what you're saying is not even like, uh, it's not even based in logic. Almost worse, it's just as bad in a different way. Being intentionally dishonest, being being intentionally dishonest is just as bad as being completely unaware of how things work. Opinions are generally not based on logic. But yeah, they are. That's what an opinion is. Uh, an opinion is is taking. Uh, is coming to a logical conclusion of something based on what you know. It doesn't have to be a logic- Oh, okay, well true, it doesn't have to be based on logic. You're right. But a good opinion is based in logic. You're saying that as a logical person, some people aren't logical, so they don't make logical opinions. <laughs> true. But I'm like, damn, that is embarrassing. If that is your job, and you're just being dishonest like that, like, damn. How embarrassing. Let's keep playing. <laughs> okay. Uh, guys, I've taken dozens of online IQ tests, okay, dozens, and I've gotten over 140 on every one. Okay. All right, Clive? What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. 140 on every one total thermal. added, yeah, exactly. <laughs> displacement stack. Yeah, her name yeah. is Mid. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. 
the Enterprise. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stat comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I was hoping you'd say that. First things first... I need some parts mechin. The sack will be made up of three major components. Components? There's the plate in, here. That channels here. hot vapors away here. from the engine. Here. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shield in around the sides. That stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armor, then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. I can't make it not tell of them. Luckily, you don't need to. Video game, Donkey is the person I trust most on games. Donkey is very good. The person I trust most on games is myself. Myself, and then Soda Pop. <laughs> Asmin, Co Carnage, Moon Moon. Blackthorn, can I ask a favor? Hell with it. It's for mid. This is my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. He's engaged, Let myself for your sake. Go on, then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Yeah. That's true. Asmin, Asmin can be a doomer. Everybody everybody has their, their like, faults when it comes to... Uh, not, not really faults, but everybody has their biases. Well, <laughs> when it comes to uh, this for, but I can make it. Won't be like, easy, Like, whenever they talk about games. And I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will ya? All right. Asman can be a doomer. Soda can lean. I feel like sometimes Soda leans towards like competitive. Like he, yeah, he has a bias towards competitive. Uh, for me, so I have no biases, again, and I'm always great. Typical. Um, Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And uh, what is it we need to do exactly? Take a look I'm at this. Think, what are my biases? It's this plating. The usual saw grade still works. Literally work. perfect. That's why I we need you. something that can get very hot, very fast, <laughs> and still keep its shape. That means an alloy, something that won't break <laughs> or buckle at the temperature she's talking about. <laughs> which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. Well, make your minds up who's going where, we can get this over with. How long is this game good god? I think I'll finish it on either Monday or Sunday. You going after the Stardust then, are you? Oh, a little bit of Stardust? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Getting your airship? That's the name of the airship, right? The Stardust. Okay, who do I take, chat? Otto or Gav? Otto. Gav, we gotta take Gav, right? Gav, you're with me. All right then. So, uh, where do we find this stardust stuff? 
There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Oh, I'm dumb. Not star I was thinking Starship. Eh? Starship Stardust. That's down past Alamil. I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring this. Oh, yeah, no worries, to. Gucci. All right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a paddle, I'll pick up the rest of the stuff from Blackthorn Supply. Take care. You too, eh? Don't go letting him fleece ya. Fleece me? I'd like to see him try. <laughs> In your own time. This camera filter is so funny. Okay, uh, out of the shadow. The Damalil Mill. Falling just a lull, you know. Looks like I found the river. No way is Gav. Sorry to keep you, Gav. Better late than never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. Don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. I asked over in Dalamil, and they seem to think it was worthless. Chad, I, I want to buy a tiger. If a pet tiger? If Blackthorn wants, stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of this stuff lying about just Did you have a drive to be car? bagged. Then let's get bagging, shall we? We shall. Race ya. What, IRL? Yeah, pretty sick. Name him Tony. <laughs> Tony the driver? Yeah. Give me my personal driver named Tony. An orange cat is close enough. Dude, I should get a Bengal cat. We already have one cat, though. Collect Stardust. So this is Stardust. Stardust? It just looks like black sand to me. As far as it's going, it's going great, man. I wish I had some chickens that I could ride, like chocobos. What if you get a Maine Coon and it, like, mauls somebody? You finished? How much did you get? Enough. I hope. Oh, for that ball, ball. Like, win. That might even be enough for old Blackthorn. Hey, before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? Chatting, chatting, chatting. Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. I like how anything happens in this game, people say it's character death flag, it's funny. Your shoulders are yours starting to feel the strain. Hardly ever see you around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Was as the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep sending me wherever you need to. And I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. Right. That's enough soppy shite for one day. We'd better get this lot back you, to Black before shite. he slings his hammer at someone. You go on ahead. And try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. Is your grandma on your wrong side bald? Uh, he's dead. 
Blackthorn. But he wasn't bald. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. Your beats sneaking around on your tongue all the time. Dude, I eat too much. Pizza's not good, man. Pizza's I'll make bad. Let's start putting this thermal plating together then. It would take some time, mind. I'm so sleeping, if you've got man. other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my Chat, neck. who is new to the stream Thank here from Soda Stream today? I'll let mid no constructions underway. Well, I thought people would be getting job. back to work too. Give us a shout if you need anything. You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn okay. started work on the plating. Excellent. One down, two to go. <laughs> so, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins. I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry? Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's the name back there? I'll give you all details. What's the name? Right. Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, She's yes. branded. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the mithril engine in which mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. I'm harnessing, I'm harnessing. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. Ah, oh, yes, the words, displacement coefficient. The reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why, if sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. Oh, you, you see, should have, but you didn't, Helena. Unwanted visitor has taken up residence there. I see. Then I suppose I'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you. Would that help? Sorry, it was loud. Oh, very much. Thank you, Sid. I'll gather my team and head there right away. We'll meet you outside the ruins. Chad, am I still winning the totally not a race? Because it's not a race, but I am farther than everybody else. I should like to mention. I'm cruising. I'm just taking Good day it easy. To you. Wait, no? Oh, frick, I gotta hurry. When can I go on a special Is there anybody who's cool that's finished? No? Sick. My friend Max is cool and then finished it. Frick, Max. What does playing nine have to do with Zidane? Zidane from Final Fantasy, not football. Oh, wait. What the heck? This must be our unwanted visitor. Monsters, Inc. 
Time to go. I thought it was. I thought it was. I thought it was Franzidan. Will of the Wikes? Break more because it's just like there's just like no reason not to limit break. Like how Esfian calls out his attacks? Well, I have to. That's how they, that's how you use them. They're, they're voice activated. Ignition. Gouge. Give him the big old wind up. Boom! Pow! Yeah, how are you going to use abilities without saying their names? Have we gotten the 9999 damage the yet? I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. Where is Jill? We miss her. Actually, that's true. Where is Jill's kind of been gone for a while. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right. The shield in. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shielding. A prism for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they'd both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Harpocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd have thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him, see what he makes of it? Right away. Okay, time to speak to Harpocrates. Harpocrates, do you have a moment? For you, Clive, always. Always. Well, actually, it's Clive. a bit this time. Could you take a look at this? For a mithril engine. Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool <laughs> enough on the outside really not to yeah. set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. 
As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps Sub it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. A different approach, huh? What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelisk complains that without a constant supply of... Pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in <laughs> order to guard against dragon fire. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection it requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Harpocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. It's true, Derry Kohi, 100%. 100%. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company, too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game. Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clive. Sorry. So, Clive, have you made your decision? Okay, so who do we take with us? On your so we have Gav. Uh, let's take Jill. Hello, obviously. Very well. So then, what do we need to find? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. White chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is right? Everything on here seems very edible. I would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited, effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Is that so? I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set out now. Join me there when you're ready. I will. Until then. You two enjoy yourselves. You too, Talia. Jill. 
How far along do you think you are? I would say about 65% maybe. 60, 65. Do you see anything you like? Do you see anything you like? And a fine, fine day to you. XD 60%. Are those papio nuts? How goes the hunt for ingredients? Uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything Not we eight. need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. Why don't we split up and see? We'll take a couple of ingredients each. All right. What am I looking for? How about you look for the papio nuts and some garlic? I'll find the other things we need. We can meet by the gate when we're finished. Up. You'll not find a bruised pippin in the Fresh this, this feels like a side quest. Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. Ah, yes. All anyone ever wants anymore is water. Great. How am I supposed to make a living? What do you want? Go on, take it. And go on, take it. That's everything. Let's see how Jill's getting on. This would have been different. What? Did you find everything? I did. Here. I look mad. Garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. Now all that remains is for Hippocrates to somehow turn all this into what Midney. Oh, frick. I but before we head I mean back, would you walk with me a while? Excuse me. Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. It does. It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Just being here. Is this the pick your wife request? We children. Wait, what? What is happening? Walking down Market Street in Rosalith, taking in the sights and smells. <laughs> how could I forget? What with Torgal's antics. Remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go racing away and we'd have to go running after him. We wouldn't catch you now. Sausages? Was there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? There was, yes. Well, sort of. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Thought you might like to share one with me. I would. Thank you. And I saw some bread. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry cured ham and it was just. Oh. Are you all right? <laughs> Sorry. Just, uh, so right. uh... I really do feel like a child again being here with you. Clive. No, Joe was dead. Was that a meme? Yeah, it was a meme. No, Jill. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. When we can live on our own terms. Wait, what is happening? I hope so. Thank you, Clive. <laughs> My cops. <laughs> That's some good corn right there. Wow. 
Well, I suppose we best be getting back. I need to give these ingredients to Harpocrates and Talia. I'll see you at the hideaway. Take care. I will. You too. Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. <laughs> true, Zagmazong. Like that is a true statement. That is factual. Jeez, that's no way happened to your head, my bad, Koopa Troopa. How's work Sorry, the shrunk. progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh, and Clive, thank you. <laughs> it was nice just being with you. The heck? It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. Okay. It's a done deal. No need to test. No need to nothing. Well, I'd better go and give Mid the good news then. I don't know, man. I don't know what happened. It made me so tired today, dude. Was, I think it was that pizza. Like, I didn't sleep great last night, but, like, I'm normally, like, a freaking battery, dude. I'm, like, a freaking Energizer Bunny. Editors started reading books that don't have any pictures in. 
Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid. But you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is Car underway. Car crash, maybe. You found something for it. In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat, a coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant. I knew you wouldn't let me down. No, thank me. Levels her character is like 35. Right then. Or 34. Let's start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the black hammer. You know, when I go into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo dars. So it's it's just it's hot in my room stacks. in general. I, that's part of the Same difference. Here. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is going to require some precision wallabing. <laughs> Sorry. White cards. Fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you. Uh, that looks horrible. On everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. I'm sorry. Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean. <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? Dreaming. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown, searching for a land untouched by the blight, just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being Isn't it funny her name is I Mid? Yeah. I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail a border by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> Don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans. I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Mid is kind of a cool name. Me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. Like... You, um... Your if your name was Mid... Grave, weren't you? I was. What? And you can come too now. I got the cool nickname. What would your full name be? Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Middleton? Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. Midna? 
Medicine. Mid Midoria. Medina. Medina Abangada. Uh, names that start in mid. Mid <laughs> Mid middle name last name. <laughs> middle finger. Midoria. Mid told me she was building a ship. Midoro. Chad, I'm gonna name my son. Alright, Clive. Astrid. Me. Sending half the eye away traipsing across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl do anything to put off visiting the wrong dad's grave. No excuses now though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. <laughs> she said that? In those words? She... did, yes. Clive? Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her. Helped a bit. Oh, poor fella. About what? I've two dresses that need stitching, but I haven't got a scrap of linen. Those girls' rags are so threadbare. It's a wonder they don't fall to pieces. Midadol is a real name? certainly now? cannot have that. You wouldn't want the poor things going without decent clothes. Side quest? Oh, is it a side quest? And. I would. Mid. Yep. In a bunch. Going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Mm, you in cock and ball. Old, are you? I cannot believe there's a oh, quest called Cock and Ball. I take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on oh, my way right to see you, you, as it happens. Got a letter for you. Urgent, by the sound of it. Hey, Maybe change the schedule for tomorrow, by the way. I'll tell you something. I forgot. I'll add it to you in person, post-bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Oberleth. Don't mention it. What tidings, Uncle? Okay, so change the schedule for tomorrow, by the way. So I said I was going to do a short stream until 2. I'm actually going to stream until like 6-ish. Uh, and then I'm going on the Crown Channel for that Crown Channel thing. Uh, so we'll probably finish this game either, either Sunday or Monday. I think. Okay, uh, chat, we have a letter. Let me read this letter. <coughs> my dear boy, my journey to Canva has been a resounding success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of his strong box with us, but his considerable knowledge of the ongoing ons in the three cities, by which I learned of the endeavors of a certain young friend of yours, though I, for one, believe Miss Telemann's project to be quite the valiant enterprise. I doubt the Canverdian authorities will take kindly to the unauthorized use of their star docks. Or, er, of the dockyards. <laughs> What's the start? No matter how deserted <laughs> has already reached my friend, it may not be long before the guildmasters are rapping at our door. Which is why I pen you, which is why I pen you this note. I would like to borrow your man Gav for a moon or two that he might keep a watch on those who might mean our little fellowship ill. 
and warn us of any impending attack. I trust that you will give this proposal your full consideration. Your loving uncle, Byron. Troubling Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Med. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? She did. Yeah. Seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid... Hey, it's Fandix Rick from high school football. You you. I was just remembering about the times we used to wash coach after practice. Good time. Did not ever... I don't know who Rick is. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that... The box. dirty work? Just like when we built this place. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I can't <laughs> That's wait always happening right there. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure we'll give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Mr. Ninja, thank you for the 29 months. I do not trade jock straps with anybody. Especially not anybody named Rick. Yo, what up, Jabated? Mm, Jabated. <laughs> Do you need a story prior? No, every Final Fantasy game is its own story, yeah, Toast. Pretty much, almost, unless it's a spinoff. So you're all good. I'm loving it, Jordan 88. I have a face tattoo, he cut it off. Oh, Sid. I remember what you told me. Oh, dude, this is the first time you see his, uh, his grave. If no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. 07, chat. This is the most appropriate 07. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Kuka is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. Slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. Playing a DL before off stream. I haven't gotten a chance to be off stream really. I'm pretty much full focused on this at this point. Damn. Dude, it, it legit is like watching a movie playing this game. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it was never as bad as this. I know. The blind marches on. 
And soon, there'll be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Goods. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader, assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that Don't laugh? Go with them. Oh, thanks, <laughs> none. Stop that, you break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants Guild. Just show them Goots's traders pass and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? <sighs> Do you see that, Sid? Your protege is making a proper little outlaw of himself. Okay, here we go. Better. Bottom left of your camera. My bad. Thanks to Taya. I'm Thanks. glad to hear it. And Torg will help too. The new boy. Is that better? There we go. Okay. I think I'm starting to wake up a little bit. I don't, dude. I think I just needed to digest that pizza, man. That that pizza did some freaking damage to me. I don't normally freaking eat. Like it's like I've been eating like really really well this lately. Used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. So like new road wide that was like a lot for me. I got honestly, dude, I'm down. Traffic moved there. So I have been keeping track. Indeed. I actually am down Maybe like a lot of weight, but I think on the trail today. I think a big part of it is is uh, I think <laughs> I, I do think a big part of it's like muscle because I haven't been lifting because the neck. But um, dude, I can't believe this neck injury's been going on about four months. <laughs> Nice, Perry. Big mission. Big. Uh, do 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 do. Wait, dude, you can hold the wind up. Look, you can just hold the wind up. I'm coming for you. 
That's so stupid. That looked so dumb, dude. That uh, looks so dumb. We've done the Republic a service. That's right. Good work. There's daughter or daughter, girl. I don't know. You normally say son to man. I see the Dalnex lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge. What do you call girls? <laughs> darling. That's right, darling. There you go. Stop putting dicks in my super chat. Dude. What is dead dick here? Oh, he is. What's up, dude? Blank time to see. Dude, I do miss Burning Crusade, dude. Big Bird! Every Tuesday night. Random guy in another guild would just yell in a general chat every time so he dropped Manatai. The land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, Perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in Paris. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the Dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <laughs> just look at this place. Dude, the, the, like the so visual here is amazing. The are like just, I know. The whole like looking at the horizon looks so good. Right here. Not far from Bocklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. Something wrong? Nothing. It just looks like a 2D sketch. It's nothing. Yeah, but I mean, it looks good. What do you mean? It's moving. But it like looks good. It's pretty. It's like thing like our drawing. Can drawings not be pretty? <laughs> it's not pointing at Booba. See the reports are true, Father. <laughs> I've surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier. Wait, even the kid is playing with a flower. The Holy Empire of Sambre. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. It needs young and blood. And I can think of none better suited to the task. <laughs> I 
There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. Oh, frick. The Emperor whom I gladly serve. Dude, this is getting Greek intense, Greek dude. Made flesh. Turn to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sunbreak. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. You changed forward. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Regarding the nature of nation, of rulers, and of the divine. You will trust the words of this traitor. Dude, dude, this She lesson. betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince. Anixia, true. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. Tanker! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Chat, Fire. never bend the knee. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. Oh, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. Emperor Olivia. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's son? Oh, dude, she's causing problems, dude. I have suffered worse. <laughs> dude, she's just freaking causing drama for no reason, dude. Just the instigator. Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? Oh, frick, here we go, dude. Boclab markets are to the north. We just need to hug the coast. Excuse me, gentlemen, ladies. <sighs> there are no Every time I turn into the cutscene, yeah, it's good. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Nasty. Let me, my lord. Oh, I got an obelisk. Oh, 
wonders from across the water. Come one, come all, feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in... Uh, uh, is better? Not really. How much? Bread. For a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. I am more than welcome to look. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are to form a line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. Can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. You shall not pass. Let's go and find Gooch, shall we? Find Gooch. Wait. He must be around here somewhere. Ah, oh, Gooch. There you are. Clive, I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, Gooch. Just tell us what happened. <laughs> It's betrayed us, Pass. It's gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in my pocket a minute ago. But then a burn bumped into me and... Here. Yeah. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? I, I know where! I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sign's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. No, you two like go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of my stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo then. And the other on our purses. Next to the chocobo. Okay, we gotta find that red chocobo. Make for the crimson caravan. Well met. Well met. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. This is somebody's chest outside their house. Yoink. Mythos FBS, thanks for the five months, man. Looking to hire a coach? It's 10 million for a two birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Wait, just don't go, El. He's me mate. He's me mate. As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Boklad? Boklava. <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It got stolen. By a little burn. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. Honestly. Ugh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little bairn could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then, we can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either? Neither of us. Indubitably. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders. 
But I suppose Traitor. that's why you came to me, Traitor. correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the, Fist the Republic marched. has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes, and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants, which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back, and we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh, I don't know, try swimming across the strait. But, but the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um... Yeah, but I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Good's voice acting is... A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. It's not the acting, it's just his voice is just so like... Thank you kindly. Oh no, not again. Would you kindly? The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. Fish for sale! I have so Rest many sponsors and, and stuff. Smoked. Can I interest you? Uh, Are we at 12 again? Sorry. I'm gonna do it at 10 o'clock at night. Eloise, is it? She's asked me to Ready on two? No, one of them got moved. Help you because uh, there's something wrong with my account. Is that so? I suppose I better tell you what I know then. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty, dressed in rags. Street urchins, by the sound of it. Yeah, basically wall dragons. Here. Orphans from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. The shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. All right, then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? What do you want? What I want. Just all of a sudden, like ten things got on my mind. That's like all. So I'm gonna. I'm a little buckets. bit distracted, which isn't good. Know. Nobody's asked me. My bad. I'm sorry. What's picking pockets? Do you get paid for it? No, uh, you get in trouble for it. <laughs> so if they come calling, <laughs> you know what to tell them. The caravan stops next to the checkpoint. Snake speed. Uh, excuse me, 
What do you want? I, I, I don't have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just the girl things are going to come rob her. What, what, what about? We've Thanks, heard Gid. that some very bad people you are too. making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he, he said he got a job doing something dangerous. Sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tent outside town. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Am I on a hinge for wanting to do hardcore vanilla without questing? No dungeons. Also, arcane mage for the off meta meme. Yeah, but hey, that's what hey, that's what it's all about. Jug of snake spit for the road. Come on, come on. <laughs> that big fat donkey was easy pickings. <gasps> he wouldn't have noticed if we bogged his boots. Kids something. are stealing. <laughs> yeah. Wish we hadn't handed over the pass, though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. What the heck? A kid sounds way older. Would they now? <gasps> Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit! We're in trouble now! <gasps> what do we do? He said cuss word. You should get caught if you want. I'm off. I mean, these oh, are those kids that we saw going? in the police chase the other day. So that was Hansa, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. He can't have gone far. I need to find him before his employers do. Daddy! Did you see a boy run past? He stole something from a friend of mine. There was a boy ran back there towards the chocobo pen, but... Thank you. Ah! Shit! Cornered! It's all right, Hunter. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm going to kill you! I just want to ask you some questions. <laughs> we well, should murder him. Fine. Not like I've got a choice. I'm looking for the people who are making you steal for them. Who are they? Call themselves the Carl Stones. They said they'd give me good gill if I did what they told me. I knew they were bad, but bro doesn't come for free. Didn't come at all half the time before I started buzzing for them. You know, if I didn't do it, they'd just pick on someone else. Someone they could push around easier. Hansa. You found him then? Jill. Yeah, obviously, I'm talking to him. Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. <laughs> You're... him! I haven't got is Goots' voice just after. getting higher and higher pitched? Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them anyway. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> if it weren't for their gill, me and my mates would have starved. Force another child to do your bidding. Wait, we're not. <laughs> Don't hurt him. Uh, wrong guy, buddy. You're making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. <laughs> <laughs> that brooch. Where did you get it? I got it with 41 badges from the vendor in Shatrath. <laughs> Master Theo. <laughs> Goots. What are you doing with these people? Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. <laughs> or three dollars in the cash shop. Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. And why would she? I'm just her back and a blade. Theodore, at your service. Sorry about before. Theodore. 
What do you know of the cast stones? Vultures who have made Balklad their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate, stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I had been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Clive, was it? And my sister has asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we all want the same thing. Catch a thief. Meteorite. Nice. Meteorite's good. Oh. So, what's the plan? What else? We find the cast stones and we crush them. Each Final Fantasy is its own story, hey bro. Back and I make Bogland a safe place again. All right then. All right then. Any gifters? Any tigers? Honza, where are they camped? Don't worry. They'll never know you told us. Couldn't if I wanted to. They always come to town to collect the passes. Meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. Which way were they going? Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. To Leighton's Cleft, then? Laney's cleft is to the south, past the camp. That's the one who's been sticking his nose in our business. You should have minded your own. Well, the white lightning rod ignition. <laughs> the lightning rod was useless. Rising flames. Lunge, magic burst, magic burst, magic burst, magic burst. I doubt these are the ringleaders, but at least we know we're on the right track. I got shitting himself realizing he attacked you earlier. That's actually funny. Hey, S man, I don't have a PS5, but you're really killing it with the Final Fantasy Steam streams. I find it really entertaining. I'm glad, you tell me. I'm glad you're liking it, man. We got company. That's a lot. And the windup, and the pitch. More foot soldiers. It's over. Nice. Enemy slain. Nice. More of this rest is a side quest for the Chocobo? Mm. And they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, purses. Ah, and traders' passes. Dozens of them. Have the names been changed? Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Goots's is somewhere among them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. Oh, and uh, be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't you? Oh, I will. I absolutely, I will. Ah, Clive. Oh, How Clive. goes the hunt? My brother isn't getting in your way, I trust? Quite the opposite. Uh, barely, Trey. So it was the cast stones who were behind it all. 
Theo told me he'd been on their trail. And their demise solves three problems at a stroke. That of the pickpockets, the bandits pulling their strings, and the passes they were stealing. I only hope yours is among the items you recovered. Only time and Theo's return will tell. Speaking of whom, welcome home, dear brother. You are too kind, Eloise. Here, Clive. Goods is pass. Ask him to keep a closer eye on it from now on, would you? I will. Thank you. El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the storeroom. Is it three Titan fights? I had I this morning. Way, I did the fight after I cut his hands off. Leave without introducing yourself properly. So the vod before this Would one. Now? Sid. Don't look so shocked. We're on the same side. I don't understand. As you now know all too well, we at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. For a small fee, we will move anything that needs moving. Be that goods to market, or bearers away from it. Okay. I was the first my sister helped escape. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. I had no idea. It just so happens that we yeah, are sorry, to expand our operation. We're gonna get more YouTube we'll videos and stuff out too to con condense it. the leader in the field. Wouldn't you agree, Theo? I would. It seems our purpose is the same in more ways than one. So what would you say to working together again? It would be our pleasure. And our honor. The honor is ours. Here, Clive. This is for you. What is it? El has friends in high places while oh, I have time, associates yeah. in uh, lower ones. That mark is proof that you're a friend to us both. Jabba, thanks for the 20 months, dude. Yeah, we got more seals. The two emblems are joined to form the collar and compass. Uh -huh. I shall bear it with pride. Well, all that remains the is to and compass. a safe onward journey. Goots's pass should secure you a place on the caravan. But if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. For a discounted price, of course. Say, nine million? We'll try the caravan. Excuse me. Okay, cool. Right then. Let's get this back to Goots. And then it's on to the Dominion. What I really want to be. Here you are, Goots. Try not to lose it again. Thank you for the 20 months, by the way, Java. Game's a good one for the summer. Oh, yeah, dude. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, so most people won't have a chance to play like I am. I Normally, I don't it. either. I'm just trying to crank I have it. To say thanks to Ellen, Theo too. So should you, Hansa. You and your friends don't have to steal anymore. If anyone threatens you again, you know who to turn to. We do. And we already have. Ms. L's given us a job shifting the chocobo shit out of the stables. Stop saying the it's customers. It's hard work, and the pay isn't half what we got from the stones. But if we stick at it, we'll keep ourselves fit. <laughs> you stick at it, then. And Goots, I'm sorry for stealing your pass. Nah, that's all right. I've got it back now, and all's well that ends well, eh? You said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? Well, I'm gonna be Which a first customer. Which icon I don't know, actually. I'm gonna save up all my gear and get you to we make me a massive sword. I'll do me best. <laughs> Till then, Maybe eh? Odin. I feel like this stretch of quests feels kind of like side quests. Right. We have a place on the wagon. Remember, Goots, we're mercenaries. You hide us to protect you. 
But mercenaries. <laughs> and you remember the plan? You're to ride all the way to Twinside. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperial's defences. There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. Right. Let's go. Certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima. I am. I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on San Breck. But be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. Then the fiend works from the shadows. I confess, when first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts, and more than a few at that. A beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Then I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in my fight. I cannot. Not yet. Your Highness, please. As you are aware, the Dalmechian army is at our gates. They have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. The heck? It is but a matter of time before they invade. If Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. Come what may. What do you know of my blood? I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Alas. What is she, what, what is she saying? Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Oh, she was expensive. threatened my father. <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear. That his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. Cutting is the best part is possible. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier, his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel, and not with tar. <gasps> Fork tongued witch! In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Did you just kill her? Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, 
of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Phalisthea bows to its rightful ruler. <laughs> no, why is she hot? There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrack. And until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. At such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. Thank you, Your Highness. Oh! I'm sorry, I clicked on my YouTube channel. Let's take to the skies together. <laughs> and bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. <laughs> Terence. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... We Dragoons have but one leader, Your Highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Thank you. And this is my decree. For their crimes against the Crown, the traitorous Annabella and her usurping son shall be put to death and the Empire restored. Okay, here we go. Okay, the Crystalline Dominion. Okay, so we're going for the next Mother Crystal here, right? All right, all right. Hey, give me a sec. Oh, come on. Scatter. One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. And they're afraid. They turn to drink to forget their fears. Anything you want to forget? Are you starting a new chapter, though? No, I think I'm going to the Mother Crystal. Right now, aren't the I? The harbor is empty. And half the market stores, too. The city may seem peaceful on the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Were we to give it a nudge, it might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. I thought you might say that. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. I'll send a Stolas then.
What's happening? I don't know. Toggle. This way. Be time to freaking go to war, dude. So be nice. Dude, frickin', oh my gosh, dude. Fire in the sky. This Just look at this, fire. dude. Look at this image right here. Shulkuts is fine. He'll be making for the square. The one with the bell tower. Mother Crystal right there. Wow. Assassin's Creed. They definitely watched Game of Thrones? Yeah. I mean, they kept talking about that at that event. They were like, yeah, Game of Thrones is a huge inspiration. And definitely have shown that. Those were Imperial Dragoons. going on let's go and see right but first we find goats I just hope he's all right you there <sighs> identify yourself Do we have to <laughs> Okay, we gotta test out Judgment Bolt. We just we, we redid our build. We added a new uh facet to our build. Okay. Oh Dragoon! Dragoon Lancer. Limit break! Okay, well, the wide, here comes the big combo. Boom, ignition into a gouge. Up into a judgment bolt. Boom! A thirty-eight thousand stagger damage. Precision dodge, precision counter, precision dodge times two. I'm igniting. I'm igniting. I'm igniting. I'm igniting. I'm igniting. I'm igniting. Nice. I see the wall. No, I didn't throw in trash. I did. I, I thought I did pretty good today in Dark Souls. What are the men and women in the market? Is? The evacuation is complete. Yeah. The evacuation is complete. Okay. Oh, the dragoons are talking about evacuating. There it is. The bell tower. Right. Let's go. Ah. A goods lift. And where's Baldy? I don't know. <sighs> bum, 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 bum. Listening? Hmm. Where in Gregor's name did you come, come from? from? <laughs> 
Big vision! Little big gouge! Wait, nobody's here. I already killed everyone. Okay, here we go. Can you see him anywhere? Okay. Pre-roll check, I just checked it, we're looking good. Oh, that's a big dog. Must be one of the Dragoon's pets. Dragon, dude, blue eyes, white dragon. Ignition. Dude, I missed. Uh, Precision dodge. Ooh, times two. Big gouge right here. Lightning bolt. Okay, huge, huge. 32k and I missed a lot of that. I think it has something in store for us. Yeah, I think it has two. Emanation? What is that? Uh. Precision dodge again? Times seven? Dude, oh my gosh, that was crazy. Dude, I feel like I'm fighting Saffron. Oh, frick. Okay, big gouge, big gouge right here. No shot! I lost a windup like that twice.
Nice. Did I miss again? No, no, I think I hit that one. Dude, look at the amount of stagger I'm doing. Look at the stagger bar just, just tick down. Look at the ignition. Run that stagger board down, look at that. Dragon dance? What's this? Oh, it's this guy here. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, that hit me. Frick, frick. Oh my gosh. Dude, I got hit once and I got comboed super hard. Big ignition. Another limit break? Dude. Nice. Phoenix shift into the air. Nice. Dodged everything. Precision dodge. Precision counter. Roll the likes. Ignition. Nice. Let's go, dude. Dude, I got hit once, and it was like, doo, 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 doo. my health went down to this low, dude. <clears throat> white worm bone. That's for the uh, diamond sword. We need that white worm bone we were looking for earlier. you are. I didn't know there'd be a dragon. <sighs> All right. Let's get out of here. Oh. What now? Is that Mother Crystal's heart? What the hell is it doing up there? Bahamut sounds like Muhammad. What's up, Whitey and Andy? like his people or am I confused your highness don't do this we must leave now your grace I beg of you 
This is not what he wanted. Something's happened. Forgive me, Yoda. Yeah, here's the I can do anything. Your grace! Thanks, Will West. I hope you like it here, dude. Welcome to the stream. Oh. What? The mother crystal got reinforced. But is it is it from Shiva? Is it diamond dust? I don't think so. Cause Shiva is jealous Shiva. So, uh, what do we do now then? We destroy the heart. We might come back. As soon as the flames die down, the Imperials and the Dalmex will move in. This may be our only chance. And behind maybe it, has maybe gone it is Ultima. Now. You should get as far away as you can, Goots. What? A Neve you slot in the ledge? I can't do that. If you're staying, then so am I. I, I Good I, death flag. Before I made a run for it, so if there's out your need, just ask. There's well, the death flag. giving it away for free. None would never forgive us if I did. Thank you, good. Drake's tail is right there, Clive. It's time to free Storm from the Crystal's curse. It's past time. But remember, Bahamut is still out there. And I dare say we'll be seeing him again before the night is done. Do you feel that, Clive? Ether. Dude, the entire city is destroyed. Oh my gosh. Just what we need. Another flood. How many laps are we doing tonight? Whoop, 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 whoop. The plan is to get through this, this mother crystal. Joshua! So you know what's crazy? After all this time... Keeping Bahamut occupied. He's barely interacted with Joshua directly. Joshua! Joshua! In fact, did he even interact with him whenever Sid died? It's too dangerous. Fuck. Oh no, Joshua! I'm coming! So... We have to save him. And we will. We just need to keep moving. Yeah, in the cave. Oh, here we go. Not now!
Dude, the music is so good, man. Yeah, Helicross, I hope the videos turn out good. Joshua! I'm here, brother! Clive. I can't hear you. Joshua! They're heading for the heart. Then so should we. Are those the council chambers? How are they still standing? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Because I kept missing with the quantum mechanics, but I might switch back. Okay, here we go. He'll be all right, Clive. He's a survivor. I'm a survivor. We're getting close. this actually we're gonna go to our items something that we haven't done all game we are actually gonna use an item strength tonic increase attack power by 10% okay Dude, I'm actually owning this guy. I'm gonna limit break right here, actually. Phoenix shift into him. Phoenix shift again to chase. Pull the likes. Mental dissonance. Precision dodge. Nice. Precision counter. Roll the like. Oh, frick. Fireaga, Blizzwaga. Okay, well, that didn't feel good. To an ignition, hot and fresh out of the kitchen. I'm just freaking real fast, dude. I'm owning so hard. Four of the likes. the attack. Precision dodge. Oh, 
Uh, he's really doing a lot here. Roll the white. I'm gonna limit break here. For the sake of the press. Going with a big wind up. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try the Lionheart tonic. Wait, Lionheart Tonic doesn't raise your limit gauge while your limit is going on, right? Oh, it does, actually, it does. Dual cast Blizzaga. High potion. I need a heal. Precision dodge. Come on. Dual cast Blazaga. Oh, I'm gonna take the high potion. To me, boy. Okay, roll the likes. Okay, I'm just going for it here. I'm going I'm going for it big time here, right? Yeah. Okay, gouge. Big lightning on the one and a half. Nice. 39k. Limit break off of it. Ignition. Another gouge. This is the finish right here. Rising flames. Nice, dude. Necrofo Vanquish. Let's go, dude. Woo! How does man get so good at this? Dude, just genetics. Just the God Gamer genetics come in. Wind up damage plus 10%. Oh, that's perfect for my combo. Oh my gosh. That's huge, dude. That's actually massive. They're getting stronger. We can think about them later. Right now, there's only one thing we need to focus on. The heart. Sick. Using consumes and limit break? What have you done with a real ass fan? Drew, all the more reason to play Devil May Cry after finishing this? I know, Why man. I really do. There's someone out there. Oh! It's you! What happened here? He... he tried to take him from me! Oh, my boy! My darling... darling boy! Is this the child you made with the Emperor? Why, Mother? Why did you betray us all? You have no right! Answer him. We took you in, Savage. Show some respect for those who raised you. For what, like two months? <laughs> Honorable Elwyn, always thinking of his precious homeland. But what worth is a homeland in a world beset by the Blight? Father did not seek to protect his country. He sought to protect his people. A leader's duty is not to protect his people. It is to protect the source of his sovereignty, the noble blood that runs in his family's veins. So long as this bloodline remains unbroken, what does it matter if a nation falls? One can always found another. Unlike him, <laughs> I did my duty. I preserved my line. I bore a son of the noblest blood to whom the whole world might kneel. That is why I gave Rosaria to Sambrek, that I might join my line with the Lasages and birth a savior of this benighted land. 
blessed by both Bahamut and the Phoenix. Sweet, so she was. Sold your country for a she was trying to make a baby that was the dominant of both Bahamut and the Phoenix. That was the whole plan. Very strong and bold and daring, and yet you failed to awaken. Would that Joshua had been granted a tenth of your strength. Oh. How the nobles laughed that Elwyn's firstborn was surely the son of a concubine, and my own, not long for this world. The shame of it. The shame of being slandered by one's inferiors. How could you ever know how that feels? It should have been you. Why didn't the Phoenix choose you? She was every waking moment was spent trying to shoulder the burden that you and the Phoenix and the Duchy foisted on him. That's why I became his shield. But what did you do? You betrayed your own blood and surrendered your son to his fate! Oh, Joshua, my darling boy. I was fixing audio desync. I never meant to hurt him. The soldier's orders were clear. He was to be spared. Why did you survive when the only one I truly cared for died? What? Have you not looked out of the window? Joshua is here! The Phoenix lives on! He's battling Bahamut as we speak! Hey, Jay, I'm dog, you expected that much, dude. Oh my gosh, not again. Wake up! You guys have got to stop meeting like this. I am a shield of Rosaria. And I will do my duty. What are you... Give him the heat wave. Oh, frick! What in the Dragon Ball Z? What just happened? Afraid. Let's go, dude. Combat time, 60 FPS kicked in. Sick, 418,000? Wait, 418,000 only did that much damage? Flare, mega point. <gasps> no, what do I do? What is happening? It's undoing itself. It's like a flower. 
What is happening in the Mega Crystal? What is going on? Precision dodge, precision counter, big damn, big damn. Nice, easy. Give it to me. Precision dodge. Boom, brimstone. I'm doing no damage though, it feels like. Oh, frick, I got railed. He's coming at me again? Oh, wait, what is this? What is he doing? Um, this is bad. Hello? Wait, flames of rebirth? Wait, what? Did I get a heal? Phoenix! Yeah! Let's go, dude! Dude, this is sick. Go! My brother, hello! You've learned spit flare. We'll face the consequences. Dude, this game, I'm freaking 30 hours into this game and I'm still getting tutorial pop-ups, okay? When is the tutorial over? St massive stream of light that sears anything in its past. Okay, cool. Extended exposure to the flare will cause enemies to be partially staggered, canceling any initiated abilities, okay? Wait, you're supposed to leave it on him? Uh whoop. 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 Okay. Brimstone. Whoop. I dodged right into that one. That's like me playing Dark Souls today. I'm shooting, I'm shooting, I'm shooting, I'm shooting, I'm shooting. Precision dodge! Okay, that was, I got hit. Nice, big stagger! Okay, I'm gonna try this. <laughs> well, that's kind of cheating. Uh, 1.74 million stagger damage. <laughs> Shit. Can't reach it. Well, that's unfortunate. Don't do this. Giga flare? Oh my gosh. Classic, dual sense battery low. Brother! Hey, what? My Phoenix now? Oh, oh, now I'm Phoenix! Embodying the Phoenix again. Move, aim, fire, charge, bio ball. That's probably easy. 
You say, oh, like I'm all the way launch volley. Yeah, that's probably easy. Uh, all other abilities are on the abilities tab, okay? I should charge this. Uh, this one is hard. Oh wait, <clears throat> okay, this one's hard. the best like strat for this. I feel like I feel like I'm playing Starbucks just like trying to barrel roll. Okay. Now it really feels like Starbucks. Dude, imagine they made a new Star Fox with like current gen graphics. Curious, it check your abilities menu. This one is, this one is like, uh, this takes a lot of concentration for me. Okay, I'm trying to kill these things for the ads, okay. Where is he going? I think I have to just target these because I think I think going with the volleys was not good. And do the charge flames. Okay, hold charge flame, and then just try and keep it on him as much as possible. Dude, I actually feel like I'm playing Star Fox. This is hilarious. Now I feel like I'm fighting the butterfly again. In Dark Souls. Okay, good. Would you pick a dex build? Uh, I, I didn't pick the build. That was that. Uh, Tectone really wanted to do a dex build. We we're just like, okay. I mean, dex build is fine if you, I think if you like. I think the thing is, dex build is probably like not really an early game build. And uh, Tectone, I think, what, came up with like a build for uh, like when he's normally playing, I think. 
That's what I actually am. Because we really were doing like no damage. So like I don't think going Dex is, is bad necessarily, but I think for us like early game, like a race, probably wasn't as good. But hindsight's 2020, right? Dude, this is insane, man. This is absolutely insane. Boom! Okay, back to Ifrit. Thank the founder. Thank the primer. It's now or never, Joshua. Nice, precision dodge. Oh, precision get F'd. Oh, precision get F'd twice. Nice, okay, there we go. Dude, this guy's just freaking... Okay, I did Brimstone. Oh, nice, dual Spitfire. Hell yeah, dude. Behind or inside of you? Inside, inside. He, he said behind, but he meant inside. Not like that. Flashbang. Thank you for the 21 months. Thank you, brother. Okay, that was bad. That was actually a good thing. Okay, we got a big stagger right here. Oh my god, dude! Okay, there we go. Cosmic abilities. No, no, this is why I didn't want to use my abilities. I'm going for the kill. I'm kind of get being aggro. Fire! One and a half times! Push! 
Yeah! Let's go! I was waiting to stack everything together. What was the damage there? Two mil? Two point one? Hell yeah, dude. This is so cool, man. They did a really, really excellent job with this, man. They really did. If if Brit and Phoenix trying to penetrate together. Shattering his shield. Boom. So good, man. Bahamut defeated. Nice. Let's go, dude. Let us go. Nice. Five me and fifty sharp fangs. They're brothers? I, that's not what I meant by penetrate. Like literally penetrate. What no. This is drinking the ether. We have to stop him. Another phase? Wait, is this Neo Bahama? <laughs> Super Saiyan? Golden? How many Bahamuts are there? Together? Oh my gosh, what? Dude, Power Rangers! Dude, this isn't even the end of the game. This is like the 70% mark. Are you ready? Ready! Embodying Ifrit Risen. Enhanced versions of most of Ifrit's abilities are available for use as Ifrit Risen. In addition to Wildfire, Ifrit Risen also has access to the ability Light Speed, which is similar to Phoenix Shift, which allows for swift approach to target just by pressing X. You have other abilities. Cool. How can we hope to match such power? Wait, what? I'm boarding? I'm gonna go Brimstone. Big Spitfire. Oh. 
Supernova? Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice, I countered it with Brimstone. Dude, every one of my swings does so much damage, man. Dude, there's so many parts to this fight, man. First finish. He's about to, he's about to get staggered again. Okay, I literally just walked into that. Okay, I walked into that again. Nice, big burst finish. Staggered, he's going down. He's going down, Terry's going down. Big Spitfire. Yes, yes. Two point three six million rip bitrate true. for the cinematic evasion and my and my controller dies. I just thought about that. How funny would that be? <laughs> nice, look at the dodge, dude. Okay, I'm getting railed now. That was a bad one. I took a, I took a lot there. Big stagger. Two point two, and I didn't even get the brimstone off, dude. Celestial Foundry. Swift Recovery. Chat, look up in the sky right now. Press the attack. Nice, big, big finish. Okay, we're gonna go with the Spitfire right here at the end, chat, ready? 
Oh, okay, hold on. Uh, you know what? Actually, okay. You know what? F this. I want to see if I can push through this. Oh, nice! I can't. Okay. Yeah, wait, what the hell? You're right. All these lasers are going towards Earth. They're like destroying the planet. Wait, what? Again? He would burn the world. Another phase? Dude, this isn't even the end of the game. Not today. Come on, Joshua. This is like a final boss fight. Zeta Flare? What is Zeta? Like, final flare? Is Final Fantasy 14. Oh, of course, I knew that. I finished it. Nice. Light Shard, the power of the icon Bahamut made manifest. This crystal is as bright as the sun can be heard to emit a soft hum when held to the ear. Nice, dude. What a game, dude. What a fight. Dude, these icon battles are something else, man. Let me tell you, these icon battles are something else. Six out of ten. Nine of diversity. Same button combat. Dion. No. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're alive. We both are. Nothing else matters. So they haven't seen each other in 18 years at this point. Or Clive hasn't seen him, but Joshua saw him five years ago. This day. Yeah, good frickin' job, Shiva, just sitting there and thumbing your nuts Jill. while these two guys are dying on the front lines.
Wait, what? Wait, what? This is for my father. So he killed the kid. The kid was the icon, or excuse me, the dominant of Ultima. It is done. The demon that would tear our house apart. Wait, what? No, 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 he's seeing things. Crystal, it's collapsing. Right, we need to leave. No, wait. Wait, so what if the kid wasn't even ultimate? He's just the guy, Dion just went crackhead mode. I owe him a debt. Fine. There is no, yeah, there's no corpse. Oh, he's, he's getting his bomb on. You there. We just bring down the world section. Don't reinforce the world. Situation. Report, Captain. Could be Can nothing be done to call them off? <laughs> I regret not, Your Red Hips. The Dragoons answer to none but His Imperial Highness. The Council is powerless to intervene. Madness is this, Theon. <laughs> it's like, there's no powers! Why do I have no powers? <laughs> he actually, he actually absorbed, <laughs> he absorbed the gay! <laughs> Plot! Why is gay now? <laughs> <laughs> By the light. Have you taken leave of your senses? Call off the dragoons at once. Fear not. The populace will come to no harm. Wait, what? At their hands. Is it a flashback? I am here to save you, father. Save me. A creeping darkness hides in the heart of Senbrek. It stems from your wife, the traitorous Annabella. <laughs> what is the real word, Sean? Father, though you may not see it, the darkness has taken hold of you. Darkness. It has made you forget yourself. But I bid you remember, there was a time when you ruled not with cruelty, but with compassion. Why now do you turn your back on your people? Why now do you seek to stoke the fires of war? You too have borne witness to this change, your eminences. And you know, as well as I, who is responsible for it. A puppet now sits upon the throne, but cut his strings, and the master loses the power! What? Dion, you bear steel before your emperor? <laughs> I like that phrase. Take him! Bearing steel. It's a good phrase. For every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. Those were your words. But when the last of your citizens has fallen, and all of their homes have been reduced to ash, what will become of your empire? 
of its rulers, of your god. <laughs> As the mother crystals crumble one by one, and the blight sweeps in to claim all that we hold dear, our people look to their emperor for protection. Yet he labors not to secure their futures, but to seize what is left of the twins for himself. Even if it should come at the cost of everything his loyal citizens have labored to build. Dion, you must understand. Dion Sanders. A Sorry. small price to pay, is it not? You've been blessed with great power, Dion. Enough to win me the world. So go, claim Valestia for me, brother. Wait, what? Wait, I don't understand. Wait, what? I don't understand at all. Lore check. Annabella Lesage. Lesage. Empress Emeritus, blah, blah, blah. Plan to come to fruition after she ticks. Okay. Uh, Olivier. Uh, I don't know how to read. Second son of Empress Sylvester of the Holy Empire of Sandbrick and third of Empress Annabella after Annabella's machination saw the Dalmix siege of the crystalline. Okay, okay. So, this is a flashback to right before the boss fight, essentially. This is essentially what happened right before the boss fight and why Bahamut came out in the first place. So, that's why there was blood, and that's why he sees his father right before he dies, but his father's not actually there. And that's why he went crazy. It's because he tried to kill the kid, because he knew that the kid was Ultima. He knew the kid was going to be the demise of the entire kingdom. Is going to be the demise of the entirety of Sandbrick. So he tried to kill the kid. His dad jumps in front to save the kid. Ends up getting killed himself. Uh, and then he goes Super Saiyan, basically. And then uh, Olivier and, and Annabella then run off. And they're, they're hiding in that tower. There you go. Okay, so that's the, that's the whole wraparound. Okay. Father. Poor father. How he doted on his children. I'm just piecing everything together out loud for anybody who didn't get it. That he would die to protect me was plain. It was but a matter of when. You planned this? You did well to endure so long. But you broke in the end, as I knew you would. And now Muthos approaches. Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. Go, Bahamut. Oh, and he activated him. Kinslayer. Kinslayer. <laughs> So it wasn't even that he, on his own, pulled out Bahamut. Wow. Not so again. Ultima kind of activated. Okay. Brother? He wasn't even He's in control story. in the first place. Which is what he did with Ifrit against Joshua. When Clive wasn't in control in the first place and the Cannot hooded figure that he saw at the beginning of the game Come. was Ultima. Take my hand. Oh my gosh! It all connects! Get away from me! This is all just a dream! Just a bad dream! 
It was all a dream. You will not take me, Shadow. You will not take me! Is there a situation where you're like, please don't kill yourself so that I can do it instead? And then he blasts her. Oh, she actually did it. She actually went nuts. Well, my charity was. <laughs> to be honest, she caused this whole mess. Wait, was, did she cause this whole mess or was it Ultima controlling her the whole time? Wait. If it is consciousness that weaves your wills together, consciousness that blurs the boundary between your own will and that of others, then we shall set you apart once more. The ties that bind you shall be severed and humanity return to its proper place. Dude, did he just death flag the whole planet? By primogenesis shall a new age of reason begin. Primogenesis? Gosh. Wait, Benedicta? This hoe. How's she back? Wait. What is she doing? Chat. Don't you want to play? Chat, look away. Look away. It's been a long time. If that is your wish. Ow. Men, you are as meek as all the others. Such feeble creatures. Okay, this is fine. <laughs> Gifted the power of icons. Wait, what? Slaves to fickle emotions which usher you to your doom. And so you bind your fragile worlds with strands of consciousness. The wretched handiwork of a wretched people. The sons of fire were united at last, and for but a moment, their flame burned bright. Okay, well now this is getting real kinky. Soon, Muthos shall become our perfect vessel. <laughs> and then shall the world be remade. He's gonna bang Mythos? Wait, that's Clive. Not before the bonds are severed. Of trust. He's gonna respect, sever his bone? Oh, bond. Of love. Only when every strand of consciousness is cut away, may Muthos return to our side. By primogenesis shall all be undone. Mankind shall be rid of his wretchedness and Muthos of his will. But while he yet clings to it, he has the power to forge bonds anew. And so we bid you, find Muthos and sever everyone. To destroy that which has no physical form, you ask the impossible. There is nothing your black blade cannot cut, Odin. We shall unite with Muthos and bring forth a new world. 
so long as our vessel remains unclaimed by humanity. Look at his freaking eyes. It shall be done, Master. My will is yours. What the hell? Who's who's that now? The frick? Chat, stop looking. Mother. Ew. <laughs> Sorry. I gotta help myself. <laughs> Okay, so we just had like a 30 minute, 45 minute encounter for like a boss fight, like 60% of the way through the game. What the hell? What the hell, dude? You've convinced me I'm buying this game? This game is amazing. I know it says where to go top right, but like uh, everything was, it looked like everything was knocked out. The best sponsor that Square never paid for, true. Dude. I'm telling you, actually, 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 actually unbelievable. This game is completely unreal, dude. This game is actually completely unreal. It's so unbelievably good. The, the story, the combat, the visuals. Game of the year. A hundred percent, dude. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. A hundred percent, dude. It's so good. Yeah, six out of ten, one button combat. Yeah, right. Freaking bunch of garbage, like, freaking reviewers have no idea how to play games. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Guys, I really hope you guys are enjoying the series. This is something new we're doing, really long uploads, trying to put, put this game in a little more condensed version on YouTube. If you guys liked it, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, like, leave a comment, do all those things. Let me know, give me feedback on, on what can be done better with the videos, what you guys like, what you don't like. I really wanna work hard on YouTube and, and I wanna get as much feedback from as many people as possible to kinda see like what we can do to kinda, to kinda work things the way to, to make them as best as possible and, and to basically be able to do good things for as many people that want it. So check out my Twitch live, twitch.tv slash SFANTV. Everything is SFANTV. If it exists, it's SFANTV, all that stuff. Thanks, see you next time.